through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Jump it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic. Hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 188. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're going to give you our DVD rundown for the week of September 18th. That's a Tuesday as usual. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, got a good selection of stuff Not coming bad. out. Not I bad. would say I would say above average to pretty decent actually yeah, if you ask true. me so it's true not, we do not, got a criterion in there so you know that you do that never hurts yeah. yeah yeah we're gonna start off with the uh headliner of the week though yes which is the blu-ray release of indiana jones mm -hmm. this is the complete set yes Unfortunately, including crystal skull yeah. yes yeah. um but it's got the first three in yes. blu-ray <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> which i'm pretty i'm pretty excited about yeah. that mm -hmm. i mean i love I love the first three, mm -hmm. including Temple of Doom. Yeah. I'm not a hater Same of that. You know, a lot of people hate on that one. I like still it. blows my mind that within yeah. like the last six months, I found that Temple of Doom was a prequel, and I never somehow knew yeah, that my tripping. entire childhood. Rough childhood. <laughs> oh, <laughs> true. <laughs> but you know, it's got a slew of special features. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's got five discs in the whole set, and the fifth one is all just special features. Nice. Which I is love. Sweet. And it's Blu-ray, so that's a mm -hmm. lot of special features. Yep. They can fit a lot on one disc. I mean, you have uh, making of. Raiders, uh, Temple of Doom, Lost, Cru Last Crusade, awesome. Crystal Skull. You got a whole bunch of behind-the-scenes featurettes like the stunts of Indiana Jones, awesome. the sound of Indiana Jones, <laughs> the music of Indiana Jones, <laughs> the light and magic of Indiana Jones. Yep. Uh, one of the ones that I find to uh, sound pretty awesome is Travel with Indiana Jones hmm. Locations. Oh, cool. That would be neat. Because that's one of my favorite parts of the movie, actually. Yeah. The little maps mm -hmm. with the little planes oh, that go on them. So like, iconic. It's, it's the least like exciting part, but it's still <laughs> like, oh, like, oh, he's going to Germany. Yeah. Ooh, boo! He's going to Sweden. I just Boo. finally watched Hot Rod the other day, and they had one of those in it. And I was yeah. like, nice little Indiana rip Jones rip montage or Meh. reference there. Meh. It's a uh, reference. It's not a ripoff. Come on. Here's one that you'll appreciate, as do I. Mm -hmm. The women of Indiana Jones. The American Film Institute tribute. They do a whole special just about the women of India. What are you trying to say about I would specifically like that? Are you trying to say I'm some perv? Or what do you, what do you imply, Well, Spencer? that plus you are an advocate for women's Oh, well, yes. Yeah. I was hoping it was the more positive angle, but you never know that you might be You're sliding a You're a bit of a dig. perv, too. Well, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Both, both are... That's probably why I was so offended, because both yeah. could be true. Uh, two other ones that I find interesting are on the set of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Mm. Curious to see what that's all about, mm -hmm. and that's new. As well as Indies, Friends, and Enemies. I'm curious to see see a little breakdown of how that all goes together. I just want to see them. I want footage of him stapling his hat on his head, and that's what I want. All right. They might be able to get that to you. It's probably in one of those behind probably. the scenes. I bet you it's in one of those featurettes. Probably. Same with him, him the guy shooting with the sword. With the sword that oh, yeah, 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 There's yeah. definitely that. One that's a more recent release uh, that came out this year that mm -hmm. I'm a fan of. Saw it at South by Southwest. Cabin in the Woods. Yes. We're talking the Drew Goddard. Yes. Uh, directed, written. Fan. Joss Whedon, co-written slash produced. Mm -hmm. It's sort of a reimagining of the horror film genre. Yeah. A meta commentary or yeah. whatever you want to call that's, it. That's a nice way to say it. But it's, it's Tongue just... Tongue in cheek. Nice also. Yes. Very it's fun. just a fun film though. It really that's is. That's the bottom line. Yeah. And you know, I... Really had a lot of fun with it. You know, it's one of those films that had been on the shelf for several years. Mm -hmm. There had been a lot of speculation yeah. about if it. it was ever going to actually come out kind of thing. And the people involved with it are so talented. Mm -hmm. Drew Goddard, I mean, you know, he did Cloverfield. Yeah. He worked on a bunch of stuff with Joss Whedon. Obviously, Joss Whedon's yeah. done a few yeah. things. Yeah. Avengers notwithstanding. Yeah. And you know. this is pre-Thor Chris Hemsworth? Yep. Yeah. Pre -hem yep. So I, before he was like... I believe it was... After Star Trek. But before I, I got to go to a press conference, I forget if it was from the press conference I was at, or I just read it, mm. uh, a discussion that Joss Whedon was a huge part in him getting the yes. role because yes. Chris Hemsworth like uh, tried out for it. and mm -hmm. He came to set one day, he was like, Did you "Get it?" And he was like, "I don't know, I don't think mm -hmm. so." Yeah. And he like called up the producers and was like, "What yeah. the fuck?" Dude? Actually, like, uh, yeah, Joss Whedon called Kenneth Branagh because they were friends. And yeah, it's like you should. I'm 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 talking to your Thor okay. right now. <laughs> it, man. But Kevin the Woods. Uh, I mean, from the beginning like intro it it changes it, it, it's interesting and unique and fun like yeah. from the opening scene it's gra it'll grab you it's, even it's, if you're not a fan of horror films it's totally and it's got some solid uh i'll be buying this one special features you know it's got a blu-ray or 
blue, uh, DVD with digital copy. Each of them nice. has a digital copy, but not Blu-ray, DVD, digital. Yeah, so okay. it's one or the other. So I'll be getting the Blu-ray digital. digital. Yeah, yeah. That, so that's good. You got an audio commentary from Drew Goddard and Joss Whedon, which nice. I'm very excited about. Mm -hmm. um, there's a feature about making of Cabin in the Woods. I'd be awesome. very curious to hear about that. Yeah. Especially, you know, the like disappearance of it there for several years mm -hmm. you know i'd be very yeah. curious yeah, about what, that what, how it got hung up and etc you know you have uh one about uh army of nightmares makeup and animatronic effects which if you've seen the movie you know that's one of the most awesome yes. scenes in the whole thing yes and it's yeah. towards the end we're not going to give it away yeah. if you haven't seen it but, but there's to say it's, it's yeah, well the done. monsters and the monster effects are very interesting and so to uh, behind the scenes will be really interesting to see because especially conceptually that's a large portion of the movie well, especially the especially that one ideas. there's there's actually two ones there's mm. that one which is army of nightmares makeup and animatronic effects okay which is one uh, yes. and then there's primal terror visual effects okay which i think nice. you know yeah, that's so. one of the things that was the coolest about it is sort of like what exists in that world mm -hmm. and what doesn't so yeah i'm definitely looking forward to that release yeah i will be checking that one as out will too. i probably uh, get it here at scarecrow yep another one that uh has some prestige probably mm -hmm. one of the most prestigious mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. ones uh is the chico and rita collector's edition mm. this has the blu-ray dvd cd soundtrack all together. Wow. No I love copy, when they toss soundtracks. Yeah, in. no, it's That's a great, so cool. it's a great addition. Yeah. And buy CDs anymore. Just I toss don't. them for I don't. extras. It should on just DVDs. be like a download of digital download yeah. soundtrack, though. I don't yeah. really need a CD of that. But either, it's a great either. coaster. Once you've downloaded it onto your computer, you just can set it down. And Put drinks I don't on need it. that coaster either. You don't need coasters? Like you're, you're destroying the environment for your coaster, sir. I'm not. They did by making it and sending it to me. I'm wow. I'm reusing it rather than throwing it away like you are talking about, which would make it actually into trash. I'm not going to buy that coaster. <laughs> I'm just going to like... I'll special order it without it. Anyway, the reason I call this... a used copy that just yeah. doesn't have that. Yeah. That's what I'll be taking. Yeah. Uh, the reason I say this is probably the most prestigious is because... Or, I mean, Indiana Jones definitely has some nominations and mm -hmm. whatnot, but Chico and Rita was nominated for Best Animated Film uh, last yes. year. Sadly, lost to Rango. Mm -hmm. I'm not, not, oh, not going to love I haven't that. I have seen Chico and Rita yet, so I can't fully say, but based on our talk last week about Rango, I, I can... It's a, it's, it's a fun one. Um, you know, in terms of the uh, release here, mm. it's kind of weird. It's got, uh, I mean, three discs, obviously the Blu-ray, Blu DVD, and soundtrack. Mm -hmm. But in terms of special features, there's not a heck of a lot. Mm. There's a couple making up featurettes. There is an audio commentary with the director, Fernando Truba, mm. which I'm curious to check out. Yeah. But other than that, that's pretty much it. They have the mm. U.S. trailer, which is kind of funny. I'd like to actually see the original mm. trailer because mm -hmm. the film is Spanish. Yes. So I'd yeah. like to see, you know... How they marketed it yeah. to Spanish people. Yeah, so I'd be hmm. curious to um, check that out. But, you know, whatever. Yeah. Finally, wrapping up a very solid week of releases with mm. the Criterion yes. release of the game. Oh, one of the best Kirk Douglas movies. Or Michael Douglas, sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, whoa, sorry, we're Michael doing a very Douglas, different sorry. way. Here. Um, one of the best Michael Douglas movies, in I would, my opinion. I would argue that this is one of the most underrated David Fincher oh, movies. Oh, de it's like, definitely. It's a great film, but yes. a lot of people forget about it in yes. terms of his filmography. Definitely mm -hmm. better than a bunch of his stuff. I, I enjoy it more than Panic Room. I yeah. enjoy it more than uh, Benjamin Button. Yeah. I mean, they're more than Alien 3. I probably enjoy it more than um, Zodiac. Only. Uh, that'd be a tough one, but Zodiac it's is really good. But this is a this movie is fantastic. Yeah, There's a it's different. Great. It's it's a yeah. Sean Penn in a nice supporting role. Yes. it's a great sort of uh, uh, one of those what's real versus yes. what's fake. You yes. know, you don't know what's a, going on. If you haven't seen incredibly wealthy man who for his birthday is given he's essentially get, he's gotten this, everything. He's so gotten so. everything, so he's given this like interactive game he's supposed to play. Ascent, kind and then like roughly. you know murders start things occurring. go yeah things go start going awry and weird and you're not sure what's the game and what's real amazing film yep. amazing film and you now criterion as always is a very solid one and i want to note this is not a just uh hd bump oh. so this is coming out for the first time on dvd and nice blu-ray so none of this stuff is just transferring That's over good, from the previous release the, yeah yet. sometimes that yeah, i mean releases it, are just that yeah you know? well i mean yeah a lot of those one, recent ones have just been like uh royal tenon bumps yes. for instance was just yeah. like the dvd release mm -hmm. bump to HD. But I want to note that because it, the new restore digital transfer, Ooh. which was sur supervised by David Fincher and the DP. Um, and the one, DP, awesome. One note this because Royal Tenenbaums had a similar situation with their mm. Blu-ray and it looked fantastic. So I'm very curious to check wow, this yeah. out. Wow, yeah. Especially because was, David Fincher's look is usually so very one iconic, of the iconic yeah. things. To, to have it 
more tweaked better to his vision. Oh, that sounds great. You know, and then you've got like a commentary with Fincher, the DP, mm -hmm. Michael Douglas, um, some of the screenwriters, digital animation super supervisors, awesome. all sorts of production designers. It's, it's really awesome. A plethora uh, of stuff. Plethora, yeah. Um, and then you have like uh, an hour's worth of exclusive behind the scenes footage, film to storyboard, comparisons for four of the major set pieces with hmm. commentary, and then alternate ending. Ooh. Curious to check that out. I wonder what Ooh. that's going to be. Probably not a big one, but you know, I'm yeah. still curious to check it out. Mm -hmm. Anyway, definitely be getting that oh, one yeah. as well. You know, I love oh, yeah. Criterion, so I'm looking forward to that one very much. Uh, let us know what uh, ones you're looking forward to, mm -hmm. and uh, join us next time as we discuss future cops mm. in honor of Dread 3D. 3 double D. Yeah, that, that'll be the sequel, <laughs> just like Piranha yes. 3 Double D. Yes. Uh, but let us know your feedback at MacGuffinPodcast.com, Twitter.com slash MacGuffinCast, Facebook.com slash MacGuffinPodcast, phone number 323-761-9842. We're on iTunes, Blip, Miro, Roku. Checking to get glue. If and we're we'll... not somewhere else, let us know. Yeah. We'll I don't there. think we have enough things to be on. Nah, we always like more, though. Yeah. yeah. We'll see you next time. Me. I'm on fire tonight. Magneto can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. It's tight, don't even try to bite the side of the side. Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. The board can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.